In this section, we'll let you get to know us better. In the first video, we'll talk about ourselves. My name is Mika, full name Mariette Higai, and I'm Kazakh from Kazakhstan, and I've lived my whole life in Almaty. My name is Vladimir, I'm 35 years old. I was born in 1985 in Tajikistan, and six years later, in 1991, we moved with our family to Kazakhstan. Here I received my education, and after finishing school, I went to Moscow to State Bauman University, but I didn't finish it. I have returned to Almaty, Kazakhstan, and graduated here. He returned to meet me. <laughs> yeah, probably. I studied in Almaty. I used to study finance, but I didn't finish it because uh, of financial reasons. I started working, and because my mother uh, was mathematician, teacher, she told me that I could be a teacher as well if I get a certificate. That's what I did, and I started working as an English teacher. Then I tried myself as a fitness instructor. I also started singing because that was my dream to sing, and I sang uh, professionally. I also songwrite and I wrote some songs that, and I wanted to share them and so I organized a small concert and invited this guy <laughs> as a guest. Yeah, so I graduated as an IT specialist, as a software engineer or a programmer, but I didn't like the job actually. After graduating, I worked only for a year as a programmer and then switched my job to a medical equipment specialist. That job was fun, but the payout was not so great. So I switched to another job. I worked as a head of department. We were managing big projects, but I didn't like the job because there were a lot of dirty money and I didn't like this aspect. So I tried to open my own internet shop, online shop of interesting presence in 2010, but I kind of failed. Then at this time I met Mika and I was captivated by her smile, but back then I was in a relationship already, so I'm not a double timer, so we didn't hang up. We didn't... But he took my Facebook account. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and a year later, when I became totally free, I came to a concert and I fell in love, truly, madly, deeply. And from this day on, we are always together. We were dating for almost half a year. After that, we moved in together. And he proposed. Yes, on a kitchen. It was very romantic. Mika was doing his dishes. <laughs> and it was, Looking it was, terrible. Yes, it was every woman's dream come true. So half a year later, we married and living happily ever after we, 2013. We went to Japan uh, on our honeymoon, then next year we went to Europe, and we never considered going to South Korea. <laughs> yeah, but uh, life happens. In 2016, um, we had our firstborn, our son, and nine days later he had a massive a hemorrhage, a brain hemorrhage, and he ended up in an ICU. The only hope for us was to go to a country with a strong medical staff. And we met a doctor, a professor in South Korea. That was our only hope for our son. So we took that possibility, we sold everything we had, and, and we started a crowdfunding so that other people could help our son. I was amazed how kind people are actually, because a lot of people we never met helped us a lot and we'll be grateful always for that. When we came to South Korea, it was all like in a fog actually, because we had only hope and we did what we could. We tried our, we tried our best. But as life goes on, uh, your best is not always enough. Yeah, life is not always fair. We lost our son and we were deeply depressed. And the only hope was for us to have another baby. So I got pregnant, uh, luckily, and we have a daughter now. 
Life in Korea wasn't easy. It was not all rainbows and sunshine because we didn't know language. We had no connections. And living in Korea is pretty expensive, you know. I couldn't do any physical labor because my type of visa prohibited it. And my wife couldn't work at all because she had this kind of visa. Therefore, I tried to earn money any possible way I could manage. And it was either the medical tourism or website programming or any other small projects. But three years later, our situation stabilized because uh, I requalified as the teacher of Russian language as a foreign one. So I taught Russian language to Koreans. Uh, by the way, this is how I improved my Korean a lot. Uh, the only problem was that we didn't see Vladimir at all. So I was doing housework and raising our baby and uh, Vladimir had a totally separate life of working all the time. Yes, I was working and riding the subway all the time. When I woke up in the morning at 6 a.m., uh, my family were, was sleeping. When I came back after midnight, we my sleepy. family was <laughs> sleeping. So it wasn't actually fun. Yes, and we always considered going back to Kazakhstan because life there was simpler. But I never complained when I had a lot of work because we were always short on money. And if I had a lot of work, if I didn't see my family, at least I could provide for them. Yeah, but still life in Seoul, the city, the capital of South Korea is very expensive and we didn't know if we could manage to live another month. Fortunately, uh, we met Adami and with Adami our life changed tremendously. We achieved uh, the true freedom, freedom of time, freedom of money and freedom of actions. But more importantly, we became rich uh, and not with money but with people. We've met a lot of amazing people and it is impossible to imagine how we lived up until then without knowing these people. We have thousands of partners now all over the world and these are the people that we talk to every day and we love hanging out together when we travel. And yes, we also started traveling around the world on business and for vacation as well. So in Atomy, we met our second family and we are very happy and grateful for that. Our goals in Atomy is to help a lot of people to achieve success with this company because it is possible and it makes us really happy when we see how people grow. We want to build international leaders team all over the world so that in every corner of the world will be our leaders team. Regardless of your background, of your education, of qualification, you can become successful in Atomy. You only need to learn the tools, learn how to become successful, how to work in this company. And this YouTube channel is about that, to help you learn how to do that. So we are the living proof that anyone can become successful because it doesn't actually matter what kind of life experience or work experience you have and what kind of life you lived up until you met Atomy. It matters how much desire you have to change everything and to achieve your goals, how much desire you have to learn, to study and to act, because actions will get you to the success if you know how to get there. So, as Mika said, we are trying to teach you that in, on our channel. Please subscribe, like and uh, comment if you have any questions or requests. So we will answer all questions that you will write down in the commentary section. And also, if you have any requests for videos, we'll try to fulfill them. Make sure to watch our next video where we'll tell you how we met Atomy. Bye-bye.